All right, guys, we are bringing you a review of Teaching Textbooks Level 4. Stick around. Welcome to the channel. My name is Morgan and this is Magdalene here at the Life of Tillman's. If this is your first time, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here in this space. I hope that while you're here, you find everything that you need, love, and enjoy right here on the channel. If you haven't done so already, go ahead, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos uploaded. If you've been with me before, welcome back. I decided to bring another child along as I give you guys a review of Teaching Textbooks Level 4. I figure what better way to do a review than to have the person who uses it the most right here to tell you the pros and cons of the curriculum. So that is what Magdalene, or Maggie as we call her at home, is going to do uh, today for you guys. So just some background. This is Maggie's second year doing teaching textbooks. Um, it is an online math program. It starts at level three and goes all the way up to level 12, I believe. The levels are, I guess, behind. So although she is third grade, the level four is more suitable for third grade learning. So that's why she's in level four and not in level three. She did level three last year as a second grader. It is also a spiral approach math curriculum in that with every lesson, within the lesson questions, you will find material that you learned in a previous lesson, which is awesome for Magdalene because she does enjoy the spiral approach. So that leads me to the pros. Let's just hop into those. The first thing that Maggie felt like was a pro was? I like the bonus rounds and how they um, give you points, like extra points, just in case you get a lot of questions wrong. And sometimes you get questions wrong on the bonus rounds too, but they kind of give you the answer and you can go back and do them again. Do them again. So bonus rounds are, like she said, a way for you to get additional points added onto your lesson, but it goes over math facts. So it's like super fast. You have to go through and really click the answer. It's kind of like a fun, challenging way to do math facts on the computer. She definitely enjoys that. And usually her score ends up being like 109, 110, because she's doing so awesome on the lessons, the bonus rounds give her the additional points added to her lesson. The second thing that she thought was a pro was? I like how it goes over the previous stuff I've learned in the um, other lessons. So that's that spiral approach, that she gets to see things that she's learned before and really master those because of the spiral approach. I feel like it helps anyone but definitely my girls with the spiral approach it makes them feel more comfortable with what they're learning that they're getting it and then they get to get it again and again and again so that it really helps solidify what they've learned but also it helps to build their confidence in knowing that i can do this i've done this before i learned this previously i know what this information is the third thing that she felt like was a pro was the wallpapers and how you get to choose the buddies and some of the stickers the wallpapers are basically like backgrounds and um, the stickers are stuff like pictures that cheer you on throughout the lesson if you get questions right. And the buddies are kind of um, like little animals that greet you when you do good, when you get your questions right. So that's like the fun part of teaching textbooks. Because it's on the computer, you have all these bright colors, you can change things around. And she loves to go in and change her wallpapers and change her buddies and those type of things. It just adds to the fun and the excitement of doing the lessons when your child can go in and customize um, those different things according to their specific curriculum. The fourth thing that she felt like was a con within teaching textbooks? Um they if you don't have paper they have a scratch pad that you can write on on the computer it's it takes a little bit longer but it, it, at least you have something to write on this is true so for some reason if she doesn't have her paper and a pencil then she can pull up the scratch pad and use the mouse to kind of draw and do the math problems now it does take a little bit longer typically we don't use it but it's just nice to have it there in case you need it the fifth thing that i found is a pro so does she <laughs> that it gives you your score so you don't have to go back and do the math it gives you your score right away so um, we don't have to check the work it does it for us so we don't have to spend time going back and checking all the answers so those are some of the pros for us with teaching textbooks now some of the cons which this is all individual 
Okay, remember that this is 100% based on your household and your child that will be using it. But it is just not challenging enough for her. As much as we love the spiral approach, I believe that there may be a little too much of a spiral approach in that she's getting things that she's already mastered, but out of 22 to 23 questions, there may be multiple questions of something that she learned in lesson two or three, which when you get to lesson 117, that's a lot of information. And it's not that she's not retaining the information, it's just how many times can you do an addition problem, three digit addition problems, those type of things. So it may be a little bit too much of a spiral approach. And considering the fact that in order to be on level and for it to be somewhat challenging, they have to go a year or a level ahead, that may be an indication that the levels are just too easy. Um, and so for her, she does not feel challenged majority of the time and gets bored when she's not challenged. The second thing is I want to tell you guys that this is my kinesthetic learner. Anytime she can do anything with her hands, it is so important for her and it excites her and it makes things fun for her. With teaching textbooks, we can't sit and take that time to use manipulatives the way that we really want to within that specific curriculum. And that is a huge factor for her. With that being said, we have decided, mostly because of her, <laughs> her decision is that she does not want to use teaching textbooks anymore because there are amazing math curriculums out there that give her an opportunity to use her hands, to use the manipulatives and add in that kinesthetic portion of it so that she feels comfortable with her learning and doing the math work. This girl is amazing at math. She does numbers in a way that I just love and I love math but she's not being challenged and she needs that kinesthetic portion of the learning to really continue moving forward. So we've decided that we're not going to use teaching textbooks anymore. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel a little excited that I get to use my hands a little bit more. She's excited about being able to use her hands. We have tons of manipulatives here in our homeschool, so we will definitely be able to fulfill that need for her. So you'll have to stick around to see what we will be using for the 2022-2023 fourth grade math curriculum. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you guys right back here at the Life of Tillman's for another video next time. Bye. Bye.